All right, here we go. So in the last video, we were trying to use the second fundamental theorem of calculus, and we were having some luck, and we were given this information that this function right here, that is 0.50, uh, that this function right here is h of x, and h of x is equal to the definite integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. And we were asked uh, to find f of, uh, h of 2, and now we're being asked to find h of negative 1. So this is what that would look like, and I think you can probably see that these two things look like they are transposed. However, they are not. Our, our uh, writer decided that he or she wanted to see what we would do with this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to gather some pieces here because there are these two pieces here. The reason I know that there are two pieces is that on this interval that they're interested in, we have two functions. And we're told early on that, that this function is composite of lines, of four lines. So it's this line, this one, this one, and this one down here. So I'm, I'm looking at that, I'm like, you know what, they want to know this here. I can just do this using geometry, right? And it's, the area here is 1 times 2 is 2, a half of that is 1, right? So 1 here. And then we need to get this from here. And let's say that this, we agree that this is from 0 to 1. So I'm just going to use some geometry. Area of a right triangle is one half base times height equals area triangle, and that's good math. That that's good math. That's good, actually good calculus. And the second bit that we have is this one: is that we need to know this other one, and it is from zero to one, right? Keeping in mind which way we have to do this, right? Keeping in which direction that we're forced to do this of f of t dt. In the last video, we already did this, and what we did was we realized that this point is the point 0, 2, this point up here is the point 2, 3, and given those two pieces of information, we can find the equation of the line, and we did that, and we found that the line was y equals 1 half x plus 2. From there, we integrated, so we integrate this, so we're going to integrate here. My handwriting is terrible today. We're going to integrate this, and we're going to get 1 half x squared over 2 plus 2x as evaluated. And we're going to go here from 0 to 1, aren't we? All right. So we're going to do that, and we're going to get... We are going to get x squared over 4 plus 2x as evaluated from 0 to 1, right? Now remember, we're going to use fundamental theorem of calculus here, which says f of b minus f of a, right? So as we do this, we have this piece here. We're going to get, we evaluated up here, we got negative 1, didn't we? We got negative 1 is the first part. That's where we did our triangle, isn't it? And the second part was this one. So now we need to do the second part here. We need to do this part. So we're going to do f of 1, right? f of 1 would be equal to 1 squared over 4 times 2 times 1, which is 2, which is 8 fourths, isn't it? So minus, so we're going to minus all this crap, so 1 fourth plus 8 fourths is equal to 9 fourths. So we have negative 9 fourths here, don't we? Remember, we have this here. This is negative 1, but negative 1 is the same as 4 fourths, isn't it? And negative 4 fourths minus 9 fourths is negative 13 fourths. And negative 13 fourths comes out to be 3 and quarter. And it is negative because the question is not an area question. If it said area, and I sometimes slip and say a word area, if they ask for area, then we get absolute value, right? We get the absolute value of, of the integration of those parts. However, that's not true here. They're, if you look up here, they're not asking us that. It didn't say anywhere in our problem that they wanted area. 
They said it's the definite integral. And definite integrals can be negative. Area can't be negative. So this answer is negative. So we can say that h of negative 1 is equal to negative 3.25. All right? Look, I hope this was helpful. We've got to find a lot of questions like this and just work out as many of them as possible so we can be sure that we're scoring what we're anticipating on that test. Okay, you guys? Good luck. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate it.